Okay, welcome back to Mr. Turner's art class. What you're looking at here, um, we're still on our little Star Star Wars kick at our, at our school. And uh, I had a, a suggestion by one of our students. He was asking, you know, after we did the little Yoda ears, he was uh, like, could we do the Mandalorian? So I was like, yes, of course. So I had to had to take a, a second to figure out how to make one, but this is my Mandalorian mask. Okay, this one right here is made out of paper, and I have a really great idea. We're going to try to do the same thing, except we are going to make this thing shiny like an actual mask. So we're going to use some of that, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Okay, so this is what we're making. Now, I know it's different colors. I want everybody to understand, especially the little kids. You know, if you are, are if you're into Star Wars, then you know that the Mandalorians, they did have different color mask okay so the mask uh this one of course i just use white white black red pa uh, white black red paper uh, so he uh like one of the famous mandalorians was bubba fat bubba fat uh his mask was green in uh green and red you know so i think his son jango if i'm saying his name right I believe his was blue and white and stuff like that. So you can uh, use whatever whatever colors you want on your mask. The biggest thing is is going to be just making the shape of the mask and his little visor, the little part that he sees through. Okay, it's going to look like a letter T. So whatever colors you want, you know, I'm like go for it. But I'm just going to keep this uh, simple. I think I'm just going to go with what I got over here. So I'm just going to pretty much probably keep everything the same colors. We're just going to use red and black and uh, stuff like that. You know, I could use green and black. He might do that. He might use green and black. So we'll see. Okay. So um, let me show you how to do this. Now, the process for making this is going to be the same. You just need some simple supplies. You need some scissors. You need glue. You need a pencil. Uh... You can just use regular construction paper, okay, for the base of the mask, or you can use aluminum foil. But if you're going to use aluminum foil for the base of the mask, you are going to need to use, glue it down on some kind of something hard, okay. And I would say just use construction paper to put it on there. And so... Now this one is not together yet, so this one is in pieces, so we're just going to move this out the way. I'm just letting y'all see what it was going to look like. And I think we're going to get to work on this one. So let's see. First thing first, I want to just go on ahead and make my life easy. I would suggest you make your life easy and kind of do what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put some uh, glue down on this. And you don't want a lot of glue. We just need enough glue that the mask that the, I mean excuse me the aluminum foil is going to stay on that uh stay on this so let me put that down and try to line that up as about as best we can spread that out hitting the camera okay so I'm gonna move that off to the side for a second and we're gonna let that dry now because I want that to be stuck on there now I already went ahead and drew on this but I, I think it's pretty light so I'll probably be able to uh, show y'all so first thing first you're gonna take your your construction paper whatever the base of the mask whatever color you want the base of the mask to be you're gonna take that paper and you need to fold it in half first and make sure that your edges your edges line up edge to edge so you fold it in half you want to say hot dog say hot dog fold it uh, fold it in half okay now what we have to do is we have to draw the basic shape one side okay of the Mandalorian so I am going to darken this because this is what uh, you probably see that now Let's do it like that. From there to there. Okay. So if you 
For little kids, if you want to think about it, matter of fact, let me use another paper. Because I probably have some little kids. We're going to make this even simpler. Let me fold another one. Older kids should be able to get that uh, outline of his mask. You should be able to do that. Okay, because that's not hard. Little kids might have a little more trouble. So, little kids, you're going to do this. You're going to come out, come down, straight line. So, you're going to make a curved line, you're going to make a straight line, and then you're going to connect the line to there. Okay? Matter of fact, actually, I want to give him a little bit of a jaw. So, I'm going to put a little line right there. Let's do like that. Okay? So, the reason you're doing this is because, okay, this crease is going to act as our line of symmetry. And if you are taking math, and if your math teacher ever used that word symmetry, you will know that whatever you have on one side, you will have to have on the other side. It has to be balanced out. So, instead of me having, uh, instead of you having to draw this, this part of the mask over here, what you're going to do is once you fold it, you're going to cut along this line. Just cut along those lines. And you will have it out the way. You open it up. And then you have the base for his mask. Okay? So that is why you're going to do that. Now, let's come back to the foil because I want this mask that you're going to look at, I want it to be shiny. Okay, so how are you going to do this? Okay, I will take a piece of construction paper or piece of construction paper. You're going to put it on top of it. So you got, you sandwich in the aluminum foil. You got one on the bottom, you got one on top. The one on top, you're not going to glue it. We're going to take that foil and then we are going to do like that. So we're going to sandwich it again. Okay, just try to make sure it's about as even as possible. I want the foil to be, I want it to be like that. So, so let me move this off screen just for a second because I want to be sure I get this crease on here really, really nice. Okay, now. Just like we just did, I'm going to take the scissors, I am going to cut along the line. Older kids, you should be able to cut it and make sure that the angle is really nice because his mask has really nice angles to it. Had to cut out his little ear, little ear piece right there. scraps. If you want to, you can keep this piece right here because you can uh, turn that into something, but what I want is this piece. Okay, so now we have that there. So we have, we have his base. Okay, so that's the base of his mask. His mask is kind of uh, metal based, so we're going to use that. Now, we have this. I'm going to use green. So that green um, is what I'm going to use for part of his visor. The visor is the part that he can see through. So again, I am going to make this easy on myself. We're going to make sure that it's lined up like a hot dog. If you want to say hot dog. Because I'm only going to draw one side of it. Okay, I'm going to put it about right there. And... The reason I'm putting it right there is because I want to, I'm going to decide like how far I want his, his eye to come out. Now, I'm going to draw this kind of dark and hopefully you can see this, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a T, the letter T. So at the end of the day, any kid, little kid that's doing this, you're going to make a big old letter T, if you can see that. Again, I'm going to get in close. You are making a letter T. 
okay? Older kids. Yes, it's kind of like a T-like shape, but it has a curve to it. So I'm going to do like that, okay? And then come down. So his, his visor has a curve to it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make this pretty thick. Make it thick. I don't want to show. Okay, so made some extra lines, but that's okay. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to cut along that line. I'm going to cut that letter T out. Okay, so I have that. I'm going to open it up. That is going to go, let me see, that's going to go about right there, but I am going to have to uh, trim it down. But I will trim it in just a second. Just right now, I just want to be sure that I know exactly where, how wide that is going to, uh, how wide that's going to be. Okay. So I'm going to use the little, the little ear, the little ears right there is my reference point. So that's going to go about right there. So I'm going to leave that there. Now he has a little black part that goes in there. So we're going to take some black. Okay. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to sit here. We're going to fold it again. So once we do this, we're really practically going to be done. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to make this easy on myself. What we are going, what you are going to do is you're going to take it, and right here on this crease, you're going to take this one, and you're going to put it on the crease, or you're going to do it like that. Just sandwich it. So put it on there like that. And then what I am going to do is along that line, without cutting the other uh, the other side of it, the other back side of it, be careful how you cut this. And I am going to cut out another T. Of course, this one's going to end up being about the same size, but trust me, we'll make it work, and it will fit, and it will look good. Just make sure you cut along the line. Matter of fact, I'm going to trim that edge right there. So, Okay, so now, of course, I have a black one now, but that black one is too thick. So I need to trim it. I need to trim this down. Okay. So I am going to make this a little bit smaller. So I am going to come over just a little bit, probably like right there. And then I am going to cut. And I am going to try to keep that same distance going around. So I can cut that much of this paper off. Okay. So I want this to be smaller than this and I can put it up on there and I can check it so I think I can go down a little bit small I can make that a little bit it's a little bit smaller at least up here so I'm gonna trim some of that off I don't want that to fall Let's get that right, back, right there trim that off Okay. I need this to be a little uh, shorter along the edges, so I'm just going to take this. I'm going to come over a little bit. I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Put that right there. I think that's a good distance. And then I am going to cut it. I'm going to put that light right there. Then I'm going to come up. Let me see. And I'm going to cut this little bottom piece right there off because I want that to be flush with the bottom. Move all that out the way. Okay, so I'm 
Okay, so technically we got that uh, that part of his mask. Okay, now. Okay, so we're gonna. What I'm gonna do is I need to trim the green because I want his little ears to show. So let's see, he's right there. So let's cut that. Let's put that right about right about there so I can see it. I'm gonna come about right there. I don't want to cut this ear, so I'm going to cut that off. Do the same thing over here. I'm using the crease line. Crease the crease. Come over. Look at his ears. Clip. Okay. And then I'm just going to round off the edge a little bit. Just round off that edge. Okay. So that's right there. That's right there, which means I need to trim that black jib a little bit more up here. So we're going to trim that off. I'm going to trim that off. Let's try to make that a little more round. There we go. So we have his outline for his visor. Okay, so now I just need to glue that down. So I'm going to use the crease. I'm going to put some glue down on that crease. Matter of fact, I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. I'm going to just use the back of it. If I didn't uh, draw on this, I would just put this right on top of that crease right there, but I'm just going to do it like this. Matter of fact, let me reverse do this, put that kind of on that crease right there, and then we're going to do that. I'm going to put it about right there. Okay. So we have that there. I am going to take this one, put some glue on that. Put that right there. See, he's already starting to look like a Mandalorian. So we almost have our Mandalorian. This video is going to be a little bit longer just because I have to get this. We are going to get this done. Now, one thing I would do, you could leave it um, blank like up there. I don't want to do that because that looks kind of boring. So I am going to take a piece of scrap paper. And I am going to give him, just going to give him a little, Kind of like a little, I don't know, a little accent on the top of his helmet. Okay, we'll do something like that. Could do that. So I'm going to trim it at the top up here. Yeah. And then I'll just trim it. Put some glue on that, and then I will just trim that, put that in the center, okay, and then I can put some little, little green on that, just to make it match. three of them. Just take some, some some of my little scraps and just put it up on there. Just give him like a little little another little accent for his helmet. I don't know, maybe he got his wearing his rank on his head. He's the bounty hunter, so maybe that's how many people he's uh he's caught. So we do something like that. Okay, so you have that, you have that. Now, the next part, okay, he does have this little, these little black little deals that uh, come off to his side like that. So you can make those as long or as short as you want. I'm probably going to do like that just because I think that looks cool. 
So, little kids, you that's a hard shape to do. Just triangles. Think triangles. You just put two little tri uh, put two triangles on there. Older kids, you should be able to uh, cut the shape out. So I'm just gonna put this on something. Take another piece of scrap paper. Once I make one of them, then you know I just trace it and trace it and cut it. Or you can just draw it on a piece of paper. Draw it on a piece of paper, and then just cut uh, draw it on here. Your construction paper and just cut it out. Doesn't have to be doesn't have to be perfect because he's your Mandalorian. You can make your Mandalorian how you want your Mandalorian to look. So that that part is on you. Matter of fact, you can flip it around like that if you want to. Make it different. But essentially, we are really close to being done. And you can put, and feel free to put anything on your Mandalorian. Because if you were a bounty hunter, you might want to put some all kinds of designs on your helmet. Maybe you want to put how many, how many people you uh, caught, you brought to justice. You know. I'm going to go ahead and put those on there. So let me see. We're going to... Which way should I do? Let's do it like that. So we're going to put some glue on it. Like I say, it's your design. You design this how you want this to look. Just have fun while you're doing it. And there is no right or wrong way to do it. Let me see. Let's put that. See. Let's try to get that in the same angle. I'm using the little edges of the ears to put his put this little accent right there. Okay, so that's on there. So the mask itself essentially is done. Okay. Truthfully, it is done. Whoop. Now, I am quite sure if you're going to want to wear it. Okay. This is where this is going to take a little bit of adjusting. The eyes. You're going to cut out your uh, your eyes. Now, what I would do is you want to take your fingers and you're going to close your eyes, you're going to take your thumb and your ring finger here, okay, and you're going to put them on your eyes, and you're going to kind of hold your hands in place. So if I take my hand, I put it on my eyeballs, I'm going to lock my hands in place, and then I am going to move it to here. That lets me know that my eyes are about that big. So I am going to draw a circle, pretty much, and I'm going to make sure it's a little big, where I feel my eyes are going to be. Now you can either do like that or you can cut out, just cut out a small rectangle right here to here and you'll just have a little gap, you'll just have a rectangle here, a, a gap that you're going to cut and you'll be able to see through this thing. If you just want it to be just like a regular mask, okay, just cut out the little eyeballs. Just make sure you know what your distance is. Now, you are going to have to uh, poke a hole through this. So, little kids, you probably going to need your parents, but I would say older kids, just see how I'm just drilling a little hole through there, and then I'm just going to take my time, and I'm just going to cut that out. If your parents are with you, your parents are helping you, you can do this with an X-Acto blade. Let your parents do that. That you tell your or draw the circle around there and tell your parent uh, tell your parent to cut this thing out for you because I don't want anybody trying to use an exacto blade and get cut but your parents can use an exacto blade and do that okay so you see how I got a hole there all right I'm just showing you so I will cut the other one out too all right or I could just leave one there okay so we have that now how are you going to wear the mask so what you will do 
is you will take probably two or three sheets of paper. You're going to have to cut cut this out so you can make a little band that's going to, you're going to glue to the back of this thing. So I would fold some paper up like that and cut it. Okay, so I have one. I have folded this paper up two to three times and I have it like that. I'm going to do the same thing with another one. Okay, you're going to stick this in here. I would, you're going to put some glue on it and you're going to stick that in there. Okay, so I put some glue right there. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to stick it in there so I can have one long piece. Once that is set, I am going to bend. You're going to put this behind your head. The left and the right side of this thing. You're going to put this from behind your head and you're going to stick this on top of your ears. And please forgive me because they're doing announcements right now and, and everything, but I wouldn't worry about that. So this is going to come behind your head and you're going to put this on top of your ears. It is your ears that's going to hold this up. This part here, you're going to bend, well let's make sure that's even. And then we are going to glue this to the back of the mask, like that, which I am going to do. So, I hope not because I'm still trying to record my video. But we are here at a school right now, so school is letting out. And, you know, kids about to go home, so, for the day. And then there you go. Okay, so, you have to let that sit, and then you will be able to wear this mask. Just make sure that this thing is the, the correct distance around each other. Just so put this on the back of your head. Now, if you need an extra piece, then put that on there. Put an extra piece. Just measure the distance of your head, and then you have your mask. And then there you go. I'm going to put that down right there so you can see it. You have your Mandalorian mask. Okay? I hope that helps. You know, you know, have fun. Design this however you want. It could be whatever colors you want. You know, uh, you can add extra designs to your mask. Go, I would say go to Google. Google Mandalorian mask and you will see for yourself that there are all kinds of masks. Two of the famous uh, Mandalorians, there was Bubba Fat, you had his son Jango, uh, Jango Fat, I believe the name was Jango, uh, Jango Fat. So you can look at their different costumes, their uniforms and stuff and you can base up your own mask, you can make your own stuff. If you were a bounty hunter, what would you want your mask to look like? So customize it. And so once you uh, again once you have your mask, get the distance of your head and then put it on. And fourth grade, you're up next. Please prepare for dismissal. All right, y'all. I hope that I hope that helps. I hope you like this uh, project. You know, keep watching uh, Star Wars because it's great. You know, The Mandalorian, Baby Yoda, all that good stuff. And then just be creative, have fun. Okay. Hope that helps. Hit that subscribe button if you like this uh, like you like this project, and I will hit y'all up the next time. Bye.